Hey everyone, this is part 12 of this series on how to find navel jewelry that perfectly fits your piercing and anatomy. But before we dive in, I've got some really exciting news. We're about to reveal our first winner of the $1,000 piercing makeover. Now the real question, will it be in this post and when? I guess you'll need to watch closely to find out and don't be quick to skip or jump to the comments as it will not be mentioned in the comments. By the way, there'll be two more draws and you should know I posted this on TikTok and YouTube and all comments are included, so make sure to participate in both. Okay, I wrapped up part 11 with a question. Do you prefer dainty or bold navel jewelry? And judging by some of your comments, it turns out it's more a question of when you prefer dainty or bold. It makes sense. You don't go for a dangle if you're just hanging around the house. And if you do, you probably shouldn't. And the winner is not so fast, people. We're talking about bold navel jewelry now, but did you see that? If you don't watch closely, that's how easy it'll be to miss the announcement. Let's stay focused. For me, bold doesn't mean huge. It simply means exquisite. You just can't stop looking at it. And when you forget to look, you got everyone else doing the looking for you. So is it the jewelry? Exquisite is about confidence. It's how you feel when you wear jewelry that's sophisticated and feels good on your body. We all know confidence is contagious and ultimately that's what we're all drawn to. So let me get you thinking a minute. Jewelers go all out to get your attention. And how do they do that? Details, intricate designs, because we think more is better. You know what I mean? I'm referring to intricate stone arrangements, different shapes, and sizes. Think of a flower arrangement or a butterfly. It really gets your attention, right? In pictures, they look stunning, especially because they're magnified. But what really gets your attention is the intricacy of the design, especially when something about it feels familiar. Let's just say you have a thing for butterflies, the details immediately stand out to you. So what do you focus on next? You guessed it, how pretty it is. But very often it's these intricate designs that cause you the most grief. They might be pretty in pictures, but are they comfortable and safe for your navel piercing? Could it be we need to think of navel jewelry a little different? Let's compare navel jewelry to a pendant on a chain. The pendant feels good when it has a little weight to it. An earring on the other hand, well if it's too heavy and bulky, you most likely will take it off when it gets uncomfortable, right? Do you do the same with your belly ring? Take it off at night and put it back in the morning? You're kind of stuck with it, especially if you paid a high price or it's that butterfly shape you convinced yourself you always wanted. But let's say you're all prepared. You've got choices, that big collection you've accumulated. Exactly the point. Have you seen what happens to earlobes after repeated use of heavy jewelry? And that's without clothing pulling or rubbing against them. Be honest and please participate. Have you ever bought a piece of navel jewelry so gorgeous and intricate, you just wanna eat it how good it looks and then you get it and you're like, where is it? What seemed intricate is not intricate enough or it's just too small or the exact opposite, it's a lot bigger and bulkier than you thought and it doesn't quite fit your navel. Let me show you this 9x7 emerald. If you ever thought bold, this is the mother of bold. And with the right outfit, this baby turns heads. Here it is on. No need to wonder, I can pull it off and it's extremely comfortable. One thing to note, your navel needs to be large enough for the stone to fit comfortably and definitely not push into the jewelry when you sit. That will put pressure on your piercing and that's a big no-no. So let's say you have the anatomy to pull it off. Or wait. How do you know that? Or better yet, how would you determine if it's going to be comfortable by looking at a picture? This 9x7 is borderline extreme. How would you know that by looking at a picture? And if you see me wearing it, does that mean it'll fit you the same? Or Crystal James 06. Have you ever felt this way when looking at navel jewelry? Comfort is about how the jewelry feels when you wear it. And for jewelry to feel good, it needs to be right for your anatomy. But what does that mean? Yes, you want the jewelry to be light so you forget you're wearing it. And how would you know that? Take this big guy for example, it's lighter than 95% of belly rings on the market and yet it's bold. I bet you would have never guessed that. If it was made out of titanium in this size with a typical cubic zirconia stone, it would have been obnoxiously bulky and heavy. So how the jewelry is made and what it's made of matters, every detail matters. And what you need to know is how to interpret these details when looking at navel jewelry. At Crystal James 06, we'll get to experience this firsthand. In the next few posts, we'll do some side by side comparisons of just about every stone shape you've come to love, from teardrop to hearts and asher, but we'll also take a much closer look at designs. We'll also cover some exciting announcements on how I envision giving you the ultimate flexibility to design your navel jewelry exactly how you like it, all on demand and all really quickly. It's like bringing you the biggest digital piercing studio to your living room. I can't wait to hear her reaction when she finds out she won the first draw. Wait, whose reaction? I guess you have some rewinding to do if you missed it. Let's have fun with this and don't forget there are two more draws so don't be shy to participate.